The Gambia Armed Forces Gamkoi 23 returns home as the United Nations mission in Darfur comes to an end. 66 personnel of the Gamkoi arrive in the first shock, as we expect the rest of the Gamkoi personnel soon. It could be recalled that Gamkoi 23 was deployed to Sudan in September 2020, which time their mandate was to end by December. The sons and daughters in camouflage landed to a heroic welcome at the Banjul International Airport and were received by the Commander RNG, Brigadier General Turo Jaune. Again, we are happy to receive you because every one of, every Gambian here, including His Excellency the President, we are all proud of you because you have exhibited professionalism while you were in Dafo. There was no adverse report against any one of you. It's a pleasure. So I am asked to thank, on behalf of the CDS, he asked me to thank you people very much. And of course, the Gambia Armed Forces Command. We are all happy to receive you people. The second in command of the Gamkoi, Major Abdujata, gave a brief description of the mission mandate. The mission, any mission you see runs under a mandate. Once the mandate is terminated, troops no longer stay. The mission mandate was to end and a new mission was to take over, which is a civilian-led mission, unit called Unitowns. So Unitowns mandate kick off on the 1st of January 2021. So the troops drawdown plan started. Even in January, we have a lot of countries that came back. Last month, on the 24th, we have Senegalese troops that came back. So it's normal for us. We knew that we are coming back. We, we did not win, except if the mission was to change. But we went with the mandate that was to end by uh, December, uh, December 31st. The troops will go through necessary COVID-19 health protocols and soon to join their families and loved ones. Reporting for GAF APRD, I am Lance Corporal Sayang Matar, GAF Signals.